Hi guys, it's Amy with A2Z Stamping, and today I'm doing a sweet little card for you using the Crafting Forever stamp set. This one's a lot of fun. I love um, the Do Something Creative Every Day. Um, I've done several videos using that sentiment because I love that. It's also cute because it has this little Made With Love, which you could stamp on the back of your cards or something. Um, the nice thing about this stamp set, it also has the Stampin' Up copyright image, which if you sell your cards or sell anything using Stampin' Up images, you're always supposed to stamp that on the back. Um, in case you didn't know that and this stamp set has that but I'm gonna do a card I'm using this stamp set right or this stamp right here with the paint brushes and the scissors and the crafting forever housework whenever stamp all right so first thing we're gonna do is our stamping so I'm gonna grab I have a piece of whisper white cardstock here and this is cut at four and a quarter by three and a half four and a quarter by three and a half and I'm going to grab my memento ink and I'm gonna stamp the big paintbrush guy. Get him inked up. And I'm gonna just stamp him right here on the right hand side, right on the right hand side of this paper here. Right here. Okay. Now let me grab my chamois and clean off my stamp. So see, it's all clean and ready to go. Jammy is the best. All right, and then I'm gonna grab the scissors. I'm gonna ink that up, and I'm gonna stamp them right here. Okay, cute. Oops. Oh, do you see that? Didn't mean to do that. That is not my chamois. Okay, clean those off. Okay, and then finally, I'm gonna grab the sentiment. Crafting forever, housework whenever, and that's gonna go right there. So let me line this up right up at the top. Perfect. Clean that off. And my stamping is done. Okay. So this stamp set is a perfect one to color. So I'm just going to randomly grab some blends. So you'll be seeing my arms. I'm going to lean over. I'm just going to randomly grab. So I've got a dark mango melody here. And actually, I need to stick a piece of scrap paper under anytime you use the blends, just so it doesn't bleed through. I'm just gonna color these all in real quick. I'm gonna give my scissors some yellow handles. If you don't have blends, you could color in with your markers or your watercolor pencils. And actually, I'm gonna color a couple of these. Let's see, let's go. This one looks like a pencil to me, so I'm gonna color that. And I'm gonna color this guy yellow. And let's give this a yellow stripe. And let's color this yellow. Mango Melody. I keep Sorry about that. All right, then I'm gonna grab my real red and I'm actually gonna grab the dark and I'm gonna color the pot in real red because I want this nice and dark. And I love real red. It's one of my most favorite colors. So Instead of using the light and the dark to blend it, I'm just gonna color the whole thing because I want it nice and bright. Okay, so color that in. The nice thing about the blends is they don't leave any lines. So if you color like with the markers, which are awesome, you will get lines though. Um, and with the blends, you don't at all. So that's really nice. Okay, so there's that. And let's see, do I wanna give anything? Actually, I think I'll do a couple little red blotches up here. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab, let's see, the basic, what color is this one? This is ours, this is Smoky Slate, I'm pretty sure. Yep, dark Smoky Slate. And I'm gonna color my scissors because my scissors, of course, need to be silver. Okay, so there's that. And I think I'm gonna do all of my paintbrush ends in gray. I guess they could be brown too, but I'm gonna make them Smoky Slate just to make it simple and to get this done quicker. Do you see how simple the blends though color? And I'm not a good colorer. I am not like, coloring is not my artistic gift at all. And um, I don't color in the lines very well. And do you see how easy this is? It's almost hard to mess it up. Okay. My pencil lid, okay. Then let's see, what other colors should I grab? How about, let's grab some, let's grab this one right here. This is the Dark Flirty Flamingo. 
let's color this guy in that color. I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to make this nice and colorful. And let's make this one. And let's grab a Bermuda Bay. I'm gonna grab a light Bermuda Bay. Let's go this guy and this guy. And let's do this one and this one. I'm grabbing mostly from the brights. And I'm going to grab a Daffodil Delight Dark because why not? Let's go with this little guy down here. This little guy right here. Okay. And then how about some green? We'll go with some Granny Apple Green Dark. And maybe, can I finish with this color? Let's see, green. We're gonna color this one right here. This one right here. We'll just finish it, okay? You, you all been watching long enough. You could do more colors too, though. You don't have to be. Cute, right? I think it's cute. All right, so that's all our coloring. All right, now we can put our card together. So I'm going to first start with, I'm actually going to grab some Real Red Ribbon. This is the, what is this? This is the Real Red Ribbon, the Cotton Ribbon. And I just want to do just a tiny little piece around right here. So let me grab my snips. Snip. And I'm going to put adhesive. And I'm going to stick one side down. And another side, there we go. And now I'm gonna stick my adhesive. Okay, and I have a piece of real red cardstock. And this here measures five by three and three quarters. And this is gonna go right over the top, like so. Okay, and then I need just another little tiny piece. I'm gonna tie a knot, so I just need a little bit of ribbon. Let's see, go around. And tie they're perfect cut this side off that looks perfect okay now for my card base I have a piece of thick whisper white cardstock five and a half by eight and a half you want to use the thick cardstock if it's your card base grab my bone folder and give it a nice crisp fold and then I'm gonna stick my adhesive actually this looks like it needs a little more adhesive right here there we go I'm gonna stick my adhesive on the back of this Okay, and this is going right on the front. It has a thick white border. And that is my card. Isn't that so cute? And it was so simple. Crafting forever, housework whenever. This is a perfect card to give to one of your friends that you craft with. And here's one I did earlier. See, it's a little bit different because I colored in, it in different. It doesn't really matter how you do it. And I used the lighter on this. You can see I used the darker. It doesn't matter. So cute, right? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.